Hmm. Friend, I'm watching the sunset from a very beautiful spot, which you can't really see unless I turn around. And you can't really see it because it's so brilliantly huge. But I'm doing something I haven't and that I've wanted to, to sort of metaphorically bust through fear even more. Um, I've never stood outside publicly in a shopping mall poeming my heart out. I'm really nervous. I'm going to do it anyway. People are maybe walking by wondering who is that weird thing. Uh, it's Monday and every Monday, no, every day I cherish with me an idea I want to share with you because I find it really healing. It's called Moment of Meaning, M-O-M. -M. It's a way I mom my moments everywhere I go, everywhere I am. It's a way I take my thought and lift it up and put it on what love is seeing. It's a way I take my whatever's trying to make me feel intimidated and become fear free moment of meaning all it takes is one moment to get into thought and lift it up so an example today while I was going about my work it occurred to me that there's something I'm putting off and there was a fleeting moment of cars going by so I'm backing up there was a fleeting moment of Girl, you just keep blowing it off. And right in that moment, I took a mental pause and I said, hang on, this is not the voice of love. This is the voice of fear trying to self-condemn. And I stood there and I think I was outside. I might've been in my kitchen. But instead of listening to the beating up condemning, tree you keep blowing this off I paused and insisted on having a moment of meaning I asked myself what I do when that negative condemning is happening to I said what does love see tree how does love view you and that's what I want to offer here so you can moment your you can mom your moments too you can have a moment of meaning too i'm probably overdoing it with the acronym love doesn't see us as screwing up love doesn't seeing us as ever having messed up love doesn't see us as procrastinating or blowing anything off we know exactly what we need to be doing because we hear it in that inner nudge and so there's always a reason if we're putting the brakes on. There's always a need maybe to tuck our heart up and ask flat out, okay, what's intimidating you? Why are you maybe pausing this that you ought to otherwise do? So right now I'm gonna pause and hopefully you're hearing me think through how I take thought off the fear and ask myself how is love seeing me through and through love seeing me as able love seeing you as innocent love is seeing all of us as right now complete so with that knowing i felt really inspired determined to accomplish the thing that i'd been putting off and I know flat well why I had been kind of resisting it because it, it intimidates me, which I've shared with you here. But Monday starts with M and moment of meaning is so dear to my heart. I want to give it to you so that you can bust through fear right from the start. 
people listening who aren't really into acronyms and maybe don't like this poeming thing may have one more reason to say, oh, the dork's at it again. My heart to yours, we can still be friends. Just be nice in your comments and your messages to me. I'm pouring my heart out, not because I have any motive other than I want everyone to strive to be fear free. It's true, I walk around looking at the world, embracing everyone as a child of God. And I want everyone to be able to bust through the limits, bust through the lacks and the limitations, because they're only mere beliefs. Okay, first time I did this, so I'm gonna land the plane, but walking helps <laughs> hush the intimidating. It's hard to be in public with a camera sort of up at your face, trying to share a message of meaning and what you hope is substance. All right, so I probably said several ums and I probably had to kind of think my way through it, but I'm gonna go ahead and post this now. And yeah, hug your heart and do it. Moment of meaning, lift it up, ask yourself, how does love see this? Okay, big hug. If you want help more than just watching this video, if you wanna share a heart to heart over the phone, pick it up, call me. I'd love to share more with how you can sift that thought and listen to fear no more. Woo, it worked. <laughs> I promise this was not memorized. This is just spontaneously poeming like I do. My heart to yours, this is Tree from a really big, uh, parking lot at an establishment called Wegmans. Till soon. Happy momming the moment.